Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross video with me. So, brand new event has come upon us, but I'm gonna uh, stray off the main event information for now because I'm gonna give you guys some little bit of information that has um, fallen upon us on the Uta Macross website. Uh, at the same time on their Twitter page as well. So as you can see on the brand new tabs here, uh, first of all, this tab here, Okay, this one basically announces there is a special Uta Macross broadcast on the 22nd of April at 8pm Japan time. So, if you're available on that time period, uh, join the broadcast as there's a lot of giveaways and all that that's going to happen during this broadcast. And it's actually 22nd, which is uh, 7 days before Ranka Lee's birthday. Hence, Megumi Nakajima is actually appearing in the broadcast along with Minoringo. So, um, yeah, and they're going to announce the upcoming event uh, for Uta Macross, which is probably Ranka, Ranka's birthday event. Um, that will feature her costume, uh, or rather her birthday costume that was uh, actually drawn by fans. So, if you didn't know, there was a contest for Ranka Lee's birthday costume that was quite some time ago. Um, almost, I would say almost seven months ago. But this time around, as you can see on this brand new tab here, now we are transitioning from Sher uh, Rankali to Cheryl Gnome. So if you guys are fans of Sh uh, R Cheryl Gnome and can illustrate costume designs, why not take part in it? So all you have to do is just basically tap on these tabs and they'll bring you to the links with more information about the broadcast and Cheryl Gnome's uh, birthday costume contest. So yeah. Okay, that aside, let's get down to the main thing for this uh, video. Basically, the events. Uh, no house and all that so the missions are pretty much simple uh, as compared to any other events that we've played so you just need to take note of um, these few types of missions we have the score missions basically you just play the main event song and obtain a certain amount of score once you have gained the amount of score that is in the numerals here uh, i don't have to explain numerals to you guys so you just obtain the score and then it will clear you can gain the zodiac medals uh, as rewards then of course, um, clearing mission challenges, I mean like the, the missions, okay, the difficulty of the missions, uh, they are like 100%, you know, 80%, 70%, I don't know. So choose the difficulty of the mission that you can handle and play the difficulty of the song that is best suited for you to clear those missions. Yeah. And of course, the daily mission, uh, which is always refreshed every day. So, this one is best to play every day. You know, just find 45 minutes of your time to clear the missions and uh, your daily giveaways and the kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, it's basically just play an event song and you're, you're done with it. So, here we go. Next one. Event mission challenge cleared. 10 times so you can choose any song within the event page and play it and clear it 10 times uh, you'll be done with this one of course there is also the full combo challenge basically you just need to pick the highest difficulty that you can full combo on it should clear any of the difficulty levels below that difficulty you have chosen if you have chosen very hard it will clear easy normal and hard so uh, killing um, four birds with one stone I guess if you can play extreme then five birds with one stone <laughs> all right so yes yeah, score challenges then of course the amount of plays challenges so pick the song that you need to play and clear mission challenges you know as many times of course we have special songs that rotate every day so right now we have ping monsoon so just have to play uh, ping monsoon five times and clearing their mission challenges so yeah and then of course tomorrow we have a brand new song so make sure you log in every day to clear these missions as well um yeah so that's pretty much all there is to say about missions so we're gonna dive into the actual live page now so for this event type if you guys are still not familiar by now um yeah i'm gonna explain to 
the newer players once again how you're gonna play this so as you can see right here i have the mission tab and of course you can see that it goes by level one two and three where three there is a danger sign at the top because there is a difficulty challenge in this particular event so if you're not familiar with what the japanese tags are i'm just gonna briefly tell you level one and level two right now basically is a full combo uh no sorry not full combo score rank so at the end of every life you will see that you obtain a certain rank for your score so the highest will be double s which is this one and of course um level three it says here um as you play you'll be taking more damage if you have missed a note than uh, so basically whenever you miss a note you will take amount of damage to your life uh, but with this challenge or rather this mission you will be receiving more damage than normal and of course you will re require yourself to score double s rank uh for your score to clear this mission so yeah and of course as you can see since it has the danger that's why this button is glowing okay so this time around the events danger challenge is basically when you're in okay when you're playing the songs at the beginning of the song from the start of the song you will be receiving more damage than normal when you miss a note so with this in mind and the mission itself you'll be receiving a heck lot of more damage than normal so yes this event basically you need to take note of the amount of life that you have whenever you miss a note so having plates that heal might come in handy if not train yourself to do full combos all the time you know so that's that's pretty much my advice to you all right so if you're not familiar with all the buttons as of now let me explain to you so this one basically lets you choose how you wish the songs to appear i'm currently set on um play the previous song that i played so basically in order for you to change the music you change it yourself manually while this one okay um, it picks any bonus song so uh, any event song that has the bonus factor on it uh, randomly so it, it picks a song randomly every time you finish a live so that's pretty much what it summarizes too so I'm gonna stick to my choose my own song if you want to choose your own song tap, tap this tab here okay from here you can tell there's only two songs with the bonus as you can see it's highlighted red here at the top portion yeah so only these two songs will have the bonus score while the last one is basically your everyday resource event song so you can actually use the the daily resource song to play and earn uh points for your um rewards unlocking and all that um but you know you don't get the 10 percent bonus that the event songs have so yeah that's the main thing if you really really wish to obtain uh points for unlocking your entire rewards uh it would be better to select event songs that has the 10 percent bonus up so yeah you can actually see the rewards list here i've already cleared a bit um so yeah you can scroll all the way down and uh, see how many points you need to unlock everything so you just need about seven hundred and seventy five thousand points to unlock all the rewards within seven days um if i'm not wrong yeah what's the yes I'm, my fingers are too tubby oh wait i'm pressing the wrong thing <laughs> okay so there is this as well so basically the this this actually tells you how many points you need to unlock the plates yeah so ranking there is none for the lower ranks yeah actually there is no ranking for this particular event because this event runs on a kuji style uh so under the mission tab as you can see here this red color thing um it's a kuji reward system so okay for the new players you probably might not find this familiar but for us who have been playing from beginning till now i'm sure you guys will probably know what this is for so i have not touched a single of the rewards as you can see i'm on list one how many lists are there 
Let's take a look. So you just keep pressing next, 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 next. You can see the top portion here is the highest reward, the most rarest reward you can obtain from that list. So there is a total of 15 lists. And as you can see, the number of available rewards increases as you go higher into the list number. So here's my advice and trick tip for you. Um, I'm going to show you guys how you're going to, um, I would say, uh, play this Kuji sparingly with the amount of tickets that you have or medals that you earn from each life so of course you can pull single pools or you can pull 10 pools at one go but how, how to decide whether you are going to pull a single pool or 10 pools well the amount of um, rewards available in the list is what you need to take note of so right now there is 20 rewards i can do a 10 pool which will bring me to 50 50 so um right now there is a 50 50 chance that within the 10 that i pull right now will be the number one main item so let's do that Hopefully it is inside, so it is not inside, so basically right now I am in a dilemma because there is only 10 pieces left. I do not want to use 10 tickets to try and obtain this thing, so I'm going to use as little medals as possible to obtain that potato chip pack, so I'm going to do it as single. There we go, so with one ticket or rather one medal, I've obtained the highest rarity item just like that and I can save my medals for the next list. So I don't really want to obtain the rest of the 9 because if you want to obtain that golden medal at the uh, page, I think 13, there we go, you're gonna have to sacrifice whatever rewards that is available left in that list. So I'm gonna skip. So by pressing this blue button, I uh, prove that I'm gonna skip. So it's gonna bring me to the next list. And of course, you can see here the episode play is the reward. So yeah. So if you want to see the skills and all that, um, normally the event plates don't have um, additional skill. What we're looking for is this. This is the most important thing within an episode plate. Other than the fact that, of course, it's a total score. Yeah, and of course, it's, you know, active skills and all this. So, alright, so 30-30, I'm going to pull a 10. Alright, so nothing. I could, I could pull another 10. Um, because, you know, bringing me to 10-30, you know, 10 prizes left out of 30, uh, rather than pulling singles because if I pull singles right now it's definitely not worthwhile because you know one out of 20 prizes is the episode plate that's the the, the ratio is kind of low so I'm just gonna go with a 10 hopefully the episode plate is in there oh I ran out of medals okay so <laughs> um, I probably have to go play more lives to obtain more medals so yeah as you can see Instead of 10, uh, uh, 10 rewards pool, it became 2 instead because of the amount of remaining medals that I had. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all the tips and tricks I can probably give you for how you can handle this event. Um, I don't have to tell you guys how to set up your diva team, I suppose. Or maybe I should. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do a rough explanation. Okay, so from here... Alright, you don't have to choose luck as in the ticketing events. This one you just need to play with a friend with a very good total score on the episode plate. So I'm gonna tap this fella. And of course, I as you can see I have a diva team that's already set up for the event. Um yeah. So okay, um what you need to mainly take note of is this small button here this small button here tap it as you can see there's four icon images that has the plus five percent all you have to do is equip your diva with one of the plates that is categorized under this event so you can equip this or this but usually the first plate is the most powerful one among your collection so equip the first plate okay i've already equipped three other plates that are under this five percent do not equip an episode plate of the similar panel let's say you've equipped this one do not equip another of this uh, because you can only gain that 5% boost 
from one of the plates mentioned in this list. So there's no point for you to equip multiple ones uh, onto your diva. So yeah. Alright guys, so that really is the final tip and trick I can do for you guys uh, for this event. Uh, I'm not going to do a 10 pool for gacha, so I'm going to do a single pool right now. So I'm going to explain to you guys the episode plate details for Living May's new gacha as well. So here we go, I'm going to tap on this. Is this. Okay, so she doesn't have any special notes on this episode plate, which is kind of sad. So this makes the how to say the importance of this plate kind of like um, dropped a slightly lower in ranking. All right, so here we have the total score for this plate is three four two five. is a very high uh, total score, kind of a very high. Um, the highest would probably will be three thousand five hundred. Um, so this is pretty decent. Uh, quite on the high range if you if you want to um, categorize them so as you can see evenly adjusted to uh 1100 per you know uh soul voice and charm which is awesome okay uh you, her center skill basically the units total will gain 20 percent up and of course active skill you will gain uh uh, active skill recover 50% in life so it's a healing plate uh, which is fantastic which is what you need for this event because if you were to miss any of the notes you'll be taking lots of damage so this healing plate is awesome so i guess this healing plate is gonna take over one of the healing plates that was given to you at the start of Uta macros uh, which is welcome to valkyrie world uh, so yeah, so this Lemin Mei plate is definitely going to take over that plate because of its stats. Uh, life skill, at the 30 second beginning mark, it will activate for 7 seconds, your scores will boost 80%. Uh, holy crap! <laughs> okay, so the life skill is pretty awesome. Uh, the active skill is awesome as well. Sadly to say, uh, the down factor is that it doesn't have any special notes, but overall this plate is pretty good. Uh, I would say definitely if you have if you are a hardcore player, get this plate. This plate is definitely something that the hardcore players will want. So yeah, I'm gonna do a single pool and that's it. And uh, I'm gonna store up my singing stones for Ranka's birthday costume <laughs> because she's my waifu. Alright, so single pool, same thing for 10 pools. Uh, hopefully it's a golden orb at the beginning. If not 5 Valkyries, that changes it to a, a golden orb. If not, hopefully it's a red color box. And well, Ranka blesses, or rather right now I'm having Reina. So Reina blesses the box and it changes to a rainbow box. Oh well, okay, no Valkyries, so this, this pool is shit. <laughs> Yeah, totally shit. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this. This is, this is a really useless pool. Oh, well, uh, I guess this is new? No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, all the information is useful to you guys. And as always, if you like what you see in here, do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more Uta Macross content or anything that I do uh, on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!